In this video, we're going to derive a triple angle formula. So we're going to rewrite the sine of 3x in terms of sine of x. When we look at the sine of 3x, we want to know what could we add together to get 3x. We could add 2x plus x. So now we see that we're going to need the sum formula for sine. Looking at our sum formula, we know that our 2x is going to be our u, and our x will represent by our v. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in. So that gives us the sine of 2x times the cosine of x plus the cosine of 2x times the sine of x. So now we see that we have the sine of 2x and the cosine of 2x, which allows us to use our double angle formulas. And so now we can go ahead and plug those in, which gives us 2 times the sine of x times cosine of x times cosine of x plus the quantity 1 minus 2 sine squared of x times the sine of x. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to multiply our cosine times cosine times sine of x times 2. We're going to do that. And we're also going to distribute our sine of x as well, which is going to give us 2 times the sine of x times the cosine squared of x plus the sine of x minus 2 times the sine cubed of x. So we're going to use the Pythagorean identity, and we're going to go ahead and get rid of this cosine squared of x so that everything is in terms of sine, which gives us 2 times the sine of x times the quantity 1 minus 2, oh, sorry, 1 minus sine squared of x plus the sine of x minus 2 times the sine cubed of x. And so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to distribute in our 2 times the sine of x into our 1 minus the sine squared of x, which is going to give us 2 times the sine of x minus 2 times the sine cubed of x plus the sine of x minus 2 times the sine cubed of x. And now we can go ahead and we can combine our like terms. So we can put those things together which is going to give us 3 times the sine of x minus 4 times the sine cubed of x. And we're done.